Next, former members of a religious sect, the Jesus Army, are planning a group action involving hundreds of people alleging they were abused. The group was set up in Northamptonshire in the 1970s and then spread throughout the UK. But in a series of exclusive accounts, the BBC has heard that people growing up in their communal homes suffered sexual, physical and emotional harm on a prolific scale. The claims relate to incidents in the 1970s, 80s and 90s. In this report from John Ironmonger, there are details of abuse which may be disturbing to some. Now we baptise you. From a tiny Baptist sect to one of Europe's largest religious communities, the Jesus Army grew in wealth, membership and zeal. <laughs> but behind its colourful brand of militant evangelism, we've heard claims that children were being harmed on a prolific scale in communal houses throughout England by apparently dozens of individuals. Rose's family joined the church when she was a baby. As a child, she says she was groomed and molested by an elder. Then, aged 15, she says she was targeted by another prominent figure. He said, come around here to a deserted place at the back of a building. I have no idea what his intent was, but he proceeded to sexually assault me. Afterwards, he said I was to blame for leading him astray. The BBC has spoken exclusively to more than 20 people who grew up in the church community houses. Each of them claims to have experienced abuse, including the brutal sexualised beating of boys by groups of men and the intense psychological control of young women. I've heard some people questioning, you know, really, was there something more sinister going on in terms of a group of paedophiles going, well, hey, you know, here's the sweet shot. Thank God, here are my many, many, many sins. But... At the top of the church, one man pulled the strings, the late founder and firebrand preacher Noel Stanton. But now we give our genitals to Jesus. We can reveal he is among 43 people who have been linked to reports of historic sexual and physical abuse. At least 10 have been convicted, including these two men, now in their 50s, for indecent assaults on boys. Another former member who was born into the church told us he was sexually assaulted by an adult in the grounds of a house when he was six years old, while one of his brothers was raped repeatedly as a teenager. I believe that at least five of us have been abused in one way or another. I have anger for the church. I have anger because of what they've done to my family. In May, under new leadership, the church announced plans to dissolve, facing a renewed police inquiry, while an association of former members are preparing a group action against its trusts and charities. A spokesman for the church said a redress scheme was being developed to provide compensation and counselling for those who had suffered poor treatment and said it was appalled and deeply sorry for the abuse that had taken place within the organisation. The Jesus Army has accrued assets of around £50 million, but it may yet struggle to atone for its abuse. BBC Look East. And if you've been affected by any of the issues in that film, there are a number of organisations and websites that can offer advice and support. You can find them listed on the BBC's Action Line website at bbc.co.uk forward slash Action Line.